640. Um, thank you guys for coming together last minute. I know that this was a little unexpected, but there's a few votes that we need to take so they could be printed in the book, and the book is going to the printer tomorrow. Um, so the first thing we have on our agenda is to approve the minutes of April 28th. And those should be attached to your agenda here. Has, does anyone have any questions, comments, or want to make a motion? I will make a motion to approve the minutes of April 28th. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Okay. Any opposed? All right, so moved. We also need to accept for review the minutes of May 5th. <coughs> we'll make a motion that we accept the minutes of May 5th for review. Thank you. Is there a second? Second that. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. That's so moved. Um, the report for the finance committee. I feel like I've failed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. Yeah. It's this long. Meredith, you know I'm it's supposed to be 500 words. <laughs> I think I hit 505 words. <laughs> You think it's too short? I do. Wow, it's brevity, baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I good. should have handed it out yeah. before going yeah. live, but there you guys are. Um, thank you. Oop, thank you. Gave David a chance to. Oh, wait, I need one too. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, I don't know. Read it. Tell me what you thought. Think if there's. But we didn't really have any controversies this year. This was a really quiet, mild year as far as the budgeting season goes. So I'm, I'm looking for depth or something, but there really isn't, we didn't have any true problems. I like it. I like the first paragraph. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might notice it's a little bit. Quite honest busy. in the first sentence of the second paragraph, but. Well, it was relatively mild. Yeah. Um, I said environmental mandates related to wastewater. Is that the right term? Sure. Would you tell me if it wasn't? You probably said about saying stormwater. Okay, that's the word. Stormwater. Yeah. Which one is the town's operating? Do you think it would be uh, meaningful to the residents to if we mention the net tax rate? Would they understand what that is? Sure. I mean, I like the number one and a half. Well, yeah, instead of two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I looked at what I mean, we did last year. Everyone knows two and a half, but and we they had see it in there. one and a half. And then we crossed it out and wrote modest. So that was the only reason I didn't oh, put it so in this year. You can't win, huh? <laughs> I just can't <laughs> win. <laughs> was it two and a half last year? No. Um, no. The no. overall Below. increase to the budget was four and a half percent, but it was decided to not say that. And we said modest. I know that we budgeted a one and a half percent increase last year. We're budgeting a one and a half percent increase this year. Well, so. I like to say that. I mean, I think that you're going to set the tone of the meeting the right way. Yeah, I, I, I think I mean, it's a lot of work to get one and a half. Right. I think the no, I, yeah. Um, I think the concern was, and potentially is this, just from my experience in other towns, is that if you raise it two and a half, you go to town meeting, you have spent all, you're proposing a budget meeting that you've spent everything that you can, and then a department says, I move that I want another seventy thousand dollars put in my budget. You can only do that by pulling it from somewhere else. So a lot of times that stops people because they're like, gosh, if I'm gonna put 70 grand in the Council on Aging, I've gotta pull it from somewhere. And that becomes a pretty lengthy, long <coughs> debate. <clears throat> when you tell everybody you're only raising it one and a half, you could go to town meeting and raise another 70 grand in a budget and not pull it from anywhere. So you're telling people you have additional capacity. Oh. So that might be the reason why we, ch I, I don't know, I'm throwing that out there. That it's was an option. No, department heads, and they're going to say, no, well, residents. residents. Res but what resident is going to vote for more taxes? What resident wants their rate to be at the max? Someone who's going to the school and their child didn't get into the special education <laughs> program really because there's no money. And show it. I would, Joe. I mean, unless there are, I would only be concerned if there are department heads that say, next year I'm going to ask for this because they didn't even Go use ahead. all the money. I mean, well, I, I just think yeah. it. <coughs> I think it sends a message that people are us. not just spending money to spend money. Well, look at. I mean, I've been the one putting the budget together the last couple of years, and we've raised at one, one and a half, and one and a half. So I'm pretty proud of it myself. I think you <laughs> um, should be. But, yeah. but, I also I understand politics of small towns, <laughs> so I'm just advising that it might be one of the reasons. I mean, but roll with it. It's your choice. Well. Um, um, 
You'd have to show the two and a half, wouldn't you, too, so people can... No, you just say that, that this budget is balanced, only proposing a one and a half increase versus uh, a two and a half percent available. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's a good barometer both, yeah. or indicator yeah. of I like what we're doing. about this override, yet there's overrides all around us. Well, I was that's just going to say that because mm. I printed it, I, I saved it, but in 2015, there's 315 cities and towns, there was 96 overrides or debt exclusions, um, and 72% of them passed. So there's plenty of that's cities a, and that's towns. That's an Slow down. <laughs> there's plenty of cities and towns that are saying, hey, raise my taxes. Yeah. Uh, beyond the two and a half. Well, we already and did we that. We did that and last we, year. And we had a new school. No, we didn't do it last With year. This year before. Several years. Uh, but I'm referring to right. school, oh, yeah. but that's a debt exclusion for a building. <coughs> I'm referring just the fact that East Bridgewater, Easton, Whitman. And they're all doing it for operational. They can't pay their bills yeah. only raising two and a half. So, you know, we've done a pretty awful. good job with that. Mm -hmm. So I think that I town's agree. amazing. I mean, trust me, I'm proud of the fact that the town is doing a really good job collectively. <coughs> no one person, collectively, we're all doing a really mm -hmm. good job to keep it within the one and a half percent. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's something to, to really be proud of. And I do think it's nice to be able to mention it. I'm just letting you know it sends a message yeah. that you have capacity. Uh, which I, I think it's a valid point. I think it's a valid point. You know how they say, like, I mean, this isn't exactly the same analogy, but. You know, like if you ha if you have a budget and you didn't spend it all, you're like, okay, oh, we got more. At you work, know, yeah. Of course. You know, I mean, so okay, yeah. So it's typically two and a half. We only spent one and a half. But I always guys. think of it as my boss. I always and think of it as my boss these. taking my budget right. away from me. But who's going to take my budget away from me here? Right. I mean, at work, yes. Right. So do you really want to kind here. of put it out there and, and rub it in people's face that there's another one <coughs> percent of capacity? Why well, they got what they met. needed, and their taxpayers too. Many of the town employees. Well, yeah. I think coming from, I don't, I can see your point. I see both points. I see right. both sides, so I'm okay with whatever the yeah, committee wants. Right, right. So I'm not, I'm not we can have a. Well, I like the statement, despite all the overrides and exclusions in the surrounding towns in recent years, that we were able to budget at one and a half percent at two, what is that, two-thirds of capacity or whatever. We don't even have to put that many numbers yeah, in right. it, try to no. keep it in right. layman's terms. Right. Yeah. I like you know, that. we only used two-thirds of the capacity available to us to oh, balance I the think budget. that's tricky. Or, yeah, that's not right. clear. Still use one and a half percent. I just rather be plain old simple. If we either say it or we don't say it. Yeah. yeah. I, I, like, I like comparing us to other towns. <laughs> I like so that. So at least say that. Yeah. Say, you know what, other towns... Have, or without even I saying the percentage. Whatever the percentage was of towns have you had know, overrides. Do this. I, I mean, I like what Meredith just said, and I think Jen's right about you don't want to get too complicated. Hey, despite neighboring towns having some fiscal concerns where they've had to do debt overrides and exclusions, or, or, uh, overrides, uh, yeah. overrides uh, we're budgeting this, balancing it only 1.5% mm -hmm. in period. And let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... People may call, what's this mean? I, I know, I appreciate the fact that yeah. you know, the taxes are going up and they're not coming. Yeah. We're not going to the taxpayers every five minutes saying we're out of money, we're going to land. And you're mentioning in the last paragraph. Stuff. That's very Yeah, important. putting it at the last paragraph yeah. instead of the first. I mean, who reads right. down that far anyway? Yeah, yeah. that's so. Uh, <laughs> well, I already got it. That was, didn't get there. That was with <laughs> the, uh, the addition of uh, all the sleeping? kindergarten, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, is that worth mentioning too? We mentioned the brand new kindergarten in last year's letter. Oh, we did. Was that last year? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, yeah, but remember yeah. that's tied to to they tied that in their budget to gets two into the uh, what do you call it? School, school, school choice. choice. <coughs> school choice. Okay. And with all the Getting developments the coming in, school yeah. choice is going to go away, and there goes our kindergarten. Right. That's Boy, why she's happy today. today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sign language for those that don't. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, done? Yeah. So uh, I will make those changes. No, no, I, I had a <coughs> comment on the, oh, on the last you. paragraph there. Yeah. Am I reading that wrong? So the overall increase to the budget this year is reasonable and has continued to outpace growth. Yeah, Isn't that think opposite? Yeah. yeah. I, I would that. just, can we, put, you don't feel like putting one and a half 
percent. Okay, well, I'll put it or in. was it what was the overall increase to the budget? Well, we're budgeting a one and a half percent increase. Yeah. Okay. The overall budget increase is about four point four percent. But still, the balance yeah. it, we're only increasing one and a half percent. Yeah. Because okay. of the see, that's what I'm afraid of the wording. Yeah. Because it, people don't really understand that they're going to see one and a half percent and expect their real estate taxes to not go up. That's what I think the concern was last year, if I'm recalling the correct because conversation. Because this is valuation year too. No, it just the fact that this past year, I, you may recall last fall, I passed out a sheet to each one of you. I went over your individual house. Mm -hmm. um, the average increase year over year, all things being equal, was half a percent. Yeah. The issue though is is that the average property value in West Bridgewater went up 7%, so the average taxpayer bill went up 3.5%. Right. Um, now again, if your tax bill goes up 300 and the property of your yeah. house went up <laughs> six grand, yeah. you should be happy. Yeah. Right. Um, but um, the reality is is that it can't be exactly half a percent because your values are gonna go up. Right. Mm -hmm. So I understand that you're afraid that you're gonna confuse people but again, we are only raising, in this budget, we are only raising 1.5% year on year for the aggregate tax base. Right? If, if your property value it, goes up, it goes up. As Dave said, if people are, want further discussion, <coughs> Yeah, at least have the information. Yeah. You know, if you have all those numbers and they, well, somebody requests, right. maybe leave it That's out. That's good to see. showcase that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and at the bottom, we put the thank yous of everyone's name. Do I include Anthony? Because he was part of our budget team. Yeah, yeah I would not because he will not be sitting on that table. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or, however, if you want to add a line or two in here to say, and we want to congratulate our fellow FinCon member that got elected to the Board of Select. What are we going to congratulate? He ditched us. What um, are we congratulating him for? Uh, all I'm saying is, is that if you're looking to add another sentence or two, you can refer to it. That's true. That um, was a big deal this year. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have an extra two in that first sentence. Just so where, where is that? In the without increasing to the maximum? Without increasing the maximum? Oh, yeah. No, it's to the maximum. To the maximum. Right. To the maximum. Without tax rate. increasing to the maximum. Tax rate. Or it should would it then be without oh, yeah. and to increase the, to the max? No, and we have again balanced it without increasing, which would be two and a half percent. That's my opinion. Oh, I see. I was reading it differently. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Hey, look at that. I just believed you and changed it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're oh, changing the first sentence of the last paragraph. Yes. Okay. Should I just take that out? Yeah. Uh, well, wrong. Well, increase to the budget this sense. year. See, I, I was struggled with the word reasonable yeah, for like reasonable. hours. <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? it mm. Well, the fact that it's <sighs> continued to outpace growth. That, do you want a budget that's outpacing growth? You don't want yeah, that, do you? No. You want a that's budget the that's... It, yeah, I, I, I used yeah. the wrong... Yeah. All right, so... I don't want to pick, it, pick at it. Is, pick uh, why don't you say the overall increase to the budget this year is modest? See, that's the word we used last year, and I was trying not to. But you I know, you the, can still use the word reasonable. Yeah. Just take out the last clause. So that way, there's right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's a good point. Okay. Take out and has continued outpace growth. Okay. Right. Well, that's easier. It's an easier change. Okay. Um, and then I'll add the one and a half percent compares to the surrounding towns and, yeah. and say thank you and good night. Is that you going to add true that that about Anthony? Yeah. Uh, do you want me to? No, yeah, I will. Sure. <laughs> is it true that this is the third year without borrowing articles? Well, all the capital budget items were fine, were Cash. paid for. So the only <clears throat> borrowing article you've had over the last three years is when you did the Spring Street Loop? Yeah. Um, so that was last year? Spring, right? uh, that was a special <coughs> town. And I hear that came in, a, the bid came in much lower than expected. It did? Yeah. Oh, and good. A little bit lower. Um, so again, the truth of the matter is, is that once I have all the final numbers, then next year I'll be looking to pay that off, which is, you know, what I committed to you guys, that was the goal. But, to Jen's point, in the last three years, there was that one borrowing article. Oh, so, I think uh, you can't say that. What yeah. about school? Isn't the school borrowing? That's a dead yeah, exclusion. Three years ago. Mm. Hmm. I don't know, but we're feeling the burn of it not three years ago, but started... Two years ago, I right? Mean, right? I told you yeah, yeah. not to include it. You wouldn't be happy. <laughs> <laughs> do, 
<laughs> Don't do anything. She won't be happy about whatever you do anyway. So should I take that out without any borrowing articles? If it's not true. Yeah, that's not true. And if you want to say, just like last year's annual town meeting, there are no borrowing articles this year. You could see that. That's That's entirely accurate. That's saying a lot. That's saying, watch out for next year. <laughs> that's what that's saying. We'll be looking for two and a half. Anything on the horizon? <laughs> yeah, we could do more than that. Please, Chris. <laughs> and an ambulance. Say, I hope there's not a recession. I know. Huh? <laughs> I guess it's tough, man. All right. Thank you guys very much You're for your welcome. input. I won't listen to any one of you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I've really struggled with this this year. I did last year too, but yeah. Yeah. Bob not that I. I considered it, but then I looked at his annual re- his letter. Like I looked at the last five years. His are two pages long, yeah. and all about yeah. Bob. Yeah. Oh. oh my! I didn't have that kind of time. <laughs> Although, yeah. if anyone wants to take this over next year, I'm more than happy to pass yeah. it on. Yeah, and I don't see anyone jumping fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we do have to keep it to one page. Yes. Yep. I committed to one page. I don't. You can't do more than that. Um, I've already got the book laid out, so it has to be in fours. And we're at oh. 60 pages this year, Ooh. which is huge. Last year's was 44. Wow. Um, yeah, my point is, is that if yeah. it's hers becomes two pages at 61, I gotta have three blank yeah. pages in there yeah. now to get this. Mm. So Ooh, that's a waste of yeah. money. It's a waste of money. Waste of yeah. money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was another half a percent. <laughs> 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 yeah, we need to two percent. Where do you get your printing done? <laughs> <laughs> and it's since. <laughs> <laughs> <You wonder. laughs> moving on to the picture for the FinCon book. Um, since we had all the construction in the center of town, I selected that one. I tell you something, that looks strangely like it looks now. <laughs> mm, not re- those buildings in the back are gone. Is, aren't aren't they they taking a picture of the intersection with all the... No. What are you talking aren't about? Aren't those buildings still there? No. no. That's the hairdresser, isn't it? Those yeah, they took that down. Them. This building? Yeah. I thought that was the hairdresser where you pull in face... face is it CVS right here? Yeah. CVS is... When was this taken? Am I looking at the tell? wrong I thought CVS side? was here. Not that Those old. Is that, is that how you're looking at it? 40s, maybe. Coming up yeah. from... Coming up oh, from, I guess I'm looking at it the wrong way. That is the hairdresser. That's how yeah. I was looking at it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Isn't that the hairdresser building? I think so. Yeah. That's exactly what it looks like today. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it, I mean, it looks like... Except it. there's a CVS here. Well, that's not as much fun anymore. I guess I was looking Except at the telephone poles. Look at those things. Yeah. 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 Point here, telephone and seriously, you should have taken a picture of the whole intersection. Get just everybody going. <laughs> well, then I chose as the second option. Ooh, the town hall. But I thought that might and be more appropriate for next there year. Too. What do you pick it next year then? <laughs> Let me see. What is, this? Oh, is this this building? This yeah. Bu- yeah. Side that's view. Grange Hall. Well, it looks small. Well, it's because without the it's without the addition. I like the town center. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Either way. Literally. Yeah. Is that really the hairdresser? I think Don't so. Worry. Yeah. People aren't going to be. Everyone got so upset when that um, <laughs> building on the corner of 106 and Main Street came down. I thought that's what that building was, but maybe oh, maybe you're right. Oh, no, no, this is a different view. Yeah. You're right. What year this was? I think it said 1909 in the oh, notes. Wow. Really? That does go back. Yeah, that can't that be right. It said 40s. Yeah, that can't be right. I guess the 1909 was the I was, I was channeling Peter Fredrickson. I knew it was coming. I was like, come on, Peter. What year was Alexander Graham Bell again? That's Telegraph. Telegraph, there you go. Yeah, that is fun. I like it, Mary. Switch forward. Do I get to kick people off the committee? Wow. <laughs> you won't have a quarrel. Don't leave voluntarily, don't worry. I'm going to you to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for loving my picture. Um, now we're going to go ahead and review the special town meeting uh, warrant articles. And these are the two articles that I think we mentioned briefly during the last meeting. This was um, the first one is the one we have every year where we transfer money for the snow and ice budget. Um, and it's too soon to know what that number is, so it's just kind of a, well, I this know is what it's going to be. I know the number. I oh, oh. have the budget, yes. Uh, where oh, it's gonna where it's going to come from. It'll be another couple of weeks, but 
the deficit was $163,000. That's not bad considering wow. it was last year. That's great. It's pretty easy with that. Yeah. Why are they last year's was really low. Town meeting again? Last, last year's was low considering how much. Instead of just yeah. warrants. Mm -hmm. or just, what was it the prior year? I mean, it's just a holdover of what town meetings are. Yeah. Last year was 450. Yeah, that yeah, was low considering was, um, all the other towns was much higher. Was our, last year was 360,000. Mm -hmm. Do I have a good memory? There you go. Is that what you said? I said 300 and something. I thought I was going to say 363, but I. So well, that was the over. Thousand. The total right, was total for. Oh. 452. That's yeah, what I, the number I had. Right 450. <laughs> I've got something right today. <laughs> We're both right. We're all right. We're all winners here. Um, so. <laughs> <do> <laughs> okay. Oh, brother. We don't have to. We don't have to. <laughs> if you have to say it. <laughs> we don't have to vote on these, do we? I mean, I would. I mean, you, yeah, okay. no. they're still going to ask if you recommend. And okay. I mean, Article 1, you have to cover your snow and ice. And, oh, okay. And my job now, I have to go figure out where <coughs> the money. But we'll figure it out in the next couple of weeks. And well, we vote that you will figure that out. <laughs> Sorry. I'll make a motion that we approve Article 1. Okay. That we recommend? Recommend to the voters. Second. One. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That passes unanimously. Um, and the second is a donation of piece of land mm. over at Friendship Drive. So what, what would that land be used for? Is it buildable? Is it wetlands? Um, uh, isn't there, aren't there easements on it right now? Technically, I'm not sure either is the water department. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. These are two pieces of property that are adjacent to Matfield Woods. Mm -hmm. So the owner of Matfield Woods has actively been trying to sell the park. Uh, oh. and, and so... What he does is we have some types that run under one. One is wet, the other one is more buildable, but they both are adjacent to where our uh, wa one of our water pumping stations is. So the water department uh, yeah. accesses it all the time. Oh. And the, the rule of thumb is, is that we have an official easement, but nobody's actually been able to put their hand on it. Uh. Um, the point is, is that Civic Therese is looking to sell the property, and the concern is that the next owner may not be as... Right. flexible or helpful. Um, if there is an easement, then obviously we would still have some access. Um, but the bottom line, it's 170 acres. This is five acres total. One is buildable. The other one probably is not buildable. Um, and just from an operation standpoint to make sure that they can always access their wells without an issue with a future owner getting in the way, they all came to an agreement. It was better to just give it to them I'll sell the property, you know, the rest of the property, and, um, and that way they don't have to worry about it in the future. So that's how it came about. Three is for me. Me too. Okay. Would anyone like to make a motion? Thank you, Tim. I guess, right? And we could have charged it. Charged us. We could have sold it. Right. This is your he water. Paper. Decided. Yeah, I mean, I mean, again, he's been the original owner. Who is he? Who is this? Is this Mr. Civitaris. He's, he's the original owner from back. He bought the property in 79, I think it was. So he's in his 80s now. And wow. Well, the water department was interested nice. in this. That is, yeah. it's going to the water department. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion then that we recommend um, approval of Article 2. I'll second it. All right. All those in favor of recommending Article 2? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That passes unanimously. All right. These are the um, warrant articles that were petitioned. Um, so the selectmen, oh, okay. are, so they are automatically two added, two of them, not, not one. I don't know which two it is then. Yeah, not a problem. Um, let's see, so article, <coughs> let's skip 44 for one quick second. Article 45 and 46 came in after the warrant was closed, but it was done by a petition drive, which means that if a handful of residents get together and they sign a form and they want to place it on the warrant, by law it has to be placed. How many? Um, because the annual town meeting is already called, it's only a requirement of 10. Yeah. So they had originally 164. Wow. They um, had lots of signatures. It so uh, this did? I believe. Oh. Um, yeah, like I said, it's 164. Oh. Is what the total was. So with Article 45 and 46, all the bar law is stating is that we are going to comply with state law. The reality is, as a political subdivision of the state, we're already obligated to comply with state law. But there has been, you know, there's been some some discussion between multiple groups in town as to whether or not we are or we aren't. Bottom line, whether we are or we aren't, we have to. 
And so this bylaw is just saying that we're going to have to comply with state law. So it's reiterating the law? <coughs> Correct. So all it's saying. It would say that the town agrees that they're going to comply with the right. state law. But even if we didn't agree, we still have to. Yeah. Right. Does, it, does it have anything to do with enforcement versus the state enforcement to local enforcement? Um, the regulation allows Mass DEP, Massachusetts Department of Agriculture, and at the local level, the Board of Health to have regula uh, regulatory approval. So the CMR says it. The bylaw will say the same thing. They're, 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 re, they're basically, I think, what they're informing mm -hmm. people is is that this is the regulation, and we will apply, we will abide by it. Reinforcement. Sure. But it can't make any changes to it, and it's not attempting <coughs> to make any changes to it. Mm. I mean, it's pretty benign in terms of what could happen, right? I mean, they could call. It seems like there's a story behind the story of some kind. From no. what I did, sign the petition. Somebody came to my house, or my husband, I don't know, one of us didn't exactly know. But um, it's not far from my house, and apparently they are storing more waste there than what they're supposed to. <coughs> or maybe they're not doing it now, but they have a, a legacy pile of solid waste from people's septic tanks <coughs> that uh, on the right wind and a hot, nice, juicy day smells just great, apparently, for the neighbors. So they are allowed to put it there, I guess. They have a lease on the land to be, and use on the land to be able to do that, but there's some question as to whether they're putting too much there and uh, above and beyond what they're allowed to put, and that they're storing it there, and they're not Storage supposed to. is, uh, I had heard, that you have to till in within 48 but I believe hours. But I are there other rules to make sure that stuff doesn't happen? I mean, if someone is legitimately storing That's right, yeah, wetlands, too. So yeah, I don't well, know. that's Wouldn't another you? issue, yeah. So the, the point is is that the enforcement mechanism in the regulatory authority already exists. So if there is illegal behavior happening, there's already regulations in place that could be utilized. So if this passes or this fails, nothing changes from that standpoint. People have to abide by state law and state regulation. I think the spirit of this is, is that people are putting other people on notice that this regulation exists and the expectation <coughs> is yeah. is that it will be complied with and that the town will be required to enforce it. Okay. I think that's the go. spirit of it. Because the state apparently is busy. <coughs> so, um, so again, my recommendation is is that the people who initiate the petition will have to move the article, they'll have to speak to it, and they'll have to better educate yeah. everybody in the town. Right. You normally just vote refer to voters mm -hmm. in reference to any bylaw changes, and you know my recommendation is that you would do the same, yeah. let them make the argument, and yeah. then you'll see how the vote ends up. But mm -hmm. um, you know I can't <coughs> stress enough that whether it passes or it fails, we're still obligated, and individuals in town are obligated to comply with existing state laws and regulations. I agree. I, I think we should refer it. Does anyone want to make a motion? I'll or is there motion. further discussion? Sorry, I guess I should have asked that first. Any further I, discussion? I, I signed the petition, so I don't know. It does, doesn't really matter, right? I mean, there's nothing. Look, no again, finances, right? All they're asking is for the, co the compliance of what is already in existence. It's not asking to modify anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just not understanding why they're asking to. I don't know. I guess yeah. I just don't get it. But they'll have yeah. to make the argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're not voting for or against if we refer to voters. So yeah, that's, good to make. that's fine. Would anyone like to make a motion? <clears throat> I'll make a motion that I'm we sorry. refer Article 45 and 46 okay. to voters. Can we vote both of them at the same time? Sure. Second All right. Second All those vote. in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Article 45 and 46 are unanimously voted to refer to voters. And then Article 44, I just skipped it because it was a little bit different. Um, we, as part of, if you have Comcast cable, you pay a small fee on your bill that accumulates with Comcast and then pays for your local cable access channel. That's what every municipality does. And so you enter into a long-term agreement with Comcast 
the agreement in West Bridgewater was entered in 2009 by your local cable advisory committee, and it goes for 10 years until 2019. Um, that money is what funds your entire cable station, so it doesn't affect you as a taxpayer. Um, it has always been done as, as by right, meaning that you enter into an agreement, the money comes in, it goes into that account, they appropriate it. The legislature just recently changed the law that says that in order for that to continue, town meeting has to accept it. Um, so it makes no changes, there's no modifications, it's just all you're doing is <coughs> accepting what has already continued, has already happened, and to allow it to continue, and again, there's no financial positive or negative because it's not derived from as a as a town budget. Makes sense. Does anyone have any questions or any anything to discuss or want to make a motion? Anyone? Anyone? To, <laughs> yeah. to approve this article. Thank you. Is there second. a second? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That passes unanimously. And again, sorry, we didn't think this was going to happen, but yeah. uh, things come we up. We all missed each other. We yeah. And we um, the minutes. Right, we already reviewed the minutes. So the <coughs> last item before we adjourn is um, the annual town meeting, June 13th. Um, we will have to take a couple of votes before that meeting for um, there's potentially going to be some transfers um, before the end of year that we need to approve out of the FinCom Reserve. I'm sorry, there's going to be some transfers out of the FinCom Reserve that we need to vote on uh, before the town meeting. Um, so I'm thinking six. 30 is that it's still going to give us enough 615 then yeah, I, I, I mean again I think that they're pretty benign but you know if there's going to be active discussion about it I would yes, just give yourself as much time as possible okay so 615 if you can as soon as there's a quorum we'll take the vote so um, I don't think it's anything controversial I mean it's, it's got to be done so um, but other than that we should be all set for town meeting um, if you guys have any questions or want to discuss anything or reminders of anything before we get there, let me know. We'd be happy to get together. Um, does anyone have any questions or concerns? Okay. Does anyone want to make a motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Everybody wait. Motion. Second. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. We are so moved. Thank you. I'm done.